All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Yeet Deet Show. We got some guests in today from the Rocky Horror Picture Show. We're going to have Jason Abreu and Sam Burke. He's the director of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. So we're going to have a pretty packed studio here today. I'm what do you guys too. think? <laughs> I'm uh, excited. feel pretty good. It's going to be amazing. It. Is it going to be great? I yeah. think it's going to be great. Be good. So how was your weekend? Uh, I saw a fan of the opera. I saw on your Instagram. I saw on her Snapchat. Yeah, it was really, I was really nitpicky about it, but, but yeah, I enjoyed myself. What you is, liked it? That's the guy with the mask, right? Yes. We talked about him a couple weeks ago and yeah, it was the new production. So it wasn't the original or anything, but I think they did it really well. I've never seen the original, but you know, I know the story. Hmm. Okay. I'm out of breath. I'm sorry. <laughs> you were running. I was. I saw you. Getting ready for these guests we're going to have. I'm so excited. That's going to be awesome. See? I thought so. Can't hear? For me, I went to the beach. I thought so. I, My friend I Tater so. is brand new to Florida, so I took her to clear water for the first time. Mm-hmm. She can't, we can't hear nothing. Oh, damn. Sorry. Technical yeah. difficulties. Just mute. Yeah. All right, welcome back to the Yeet Deet Show. I'm Jesse. We had some technical difficulties there, but we're up and running now. We got some guests from the Rocky Horror Picture Show coming on, uh, Jason Abreu and Sam Burke. And uh, how was uh, your weekend, Nick? I It was good. I remodeled my house a little bit. I remodeled nice. my yard and cleaned out my pool and stuff. And then I have a friend who just moved to Florida. And her name is Tater, and I took her to Clearwater Beach for the first time. Cool. Since she's brand new from Portland, Oregon. Nice. Evan? Uh, I didn't do too much. Uh, I was just pretty much at the crib doing homework. At the just crib. chilling. <laughs> yeah. I went to the skate park. Uh, that was about it. All right, well, we're going to go to a quick uh, music break here, and then we're going to get Jason Abreu and Sam Burke from the Rocky Horror Picture Show in here, uh, ask them some questions about the show, and we'll go from there. This is the Yeet Deet Show. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back to the Yeet Deet Show. I'm Jesse. I'm Evan. I'm available. I'm Nick. Oh, my God, available? Well, I'm available, too. <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? Hey, real quick, real <laughs> quick. Um, I'm single. Narisa wanted me to shout out um, News Channel 8. I'll be on tonight at um, 5 o'clock. We did a story. Um, John Rogers came in about three weeks ago and um, did a story about smartphones and, like, whether they're beneficial to students or not. And um, so, yeah, I got interviewed with um, Monty and somebody else. And um, so, yeah, tune in, to, tune in to News Channel 8 this, this evening at 5 o'clock, and hopefully you'll see my face. <laughs> awesome. So we got Jason Abreu and Sam Burke in here to talk about the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And Emily also is in the Rocky Horror Picture I Show am. as well. Hello. Oh my God. That's oh Sam. My God. <laughs> Hello. That's Jason. So Jason, I had a quick question for you. Um, would you want to like pursue a car- like a career in acting? Uh, yeah, I would actually. Um, before I was actually a part of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, I wanted to get into acting, but I just didn't know how. And then around last year, Sam and uh, his cousin Calvin, they're two very good friends of mine, offered me a a spot on their cast, and I jumped at the chance immediately. And since I started doing the show, I just, I want to see where it takes me. Right. And Sam, how did you get into directing? Obviously, you guys are big fans of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, but how did you get into directing this? Well, um, I've been performing Rocky for 14 years. I started when I was 14. I have been on various casts. We decided to form uh, Hell on Heels, um, and because there was no established director, um, I I, I was uh, voted in um, probably due to... um, the, the, the stupid amount of time I've done this. Um, I, I don't know why people would elect me otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a great director. I think that you're very uh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so how many people are 
in this play, like, all together? Um, I run a cast of about 30. Wow. On stage at any given time, there's usually about um, uh, about 15 performers through the night um, with um, uh, uh, four to five uh, technicians at any given time. Okay. Or I um, four to five technicians at any time, um, but throughout the night, um, 11 to 15 performers. All right. Emily, do you have any uh, questions to ask? I do. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> A lot of mics flying around here. I know. Technical difficulties. <laughs> um, I really want to know and just... Um, what um tell us more about the rocky horror picture show like give us the synopsis and um what's it about sure for okay. the people who don't know yeah um so rocky horror is this movie based on a um a a a, a kind of experimental london show the uh the playwright uh richard o'brien he, he um created um he, he workshopped a uh, musical together based on a bunch of music that he had written um uh in his own free time and they came together in london and they they, they wrote uh this piece and it's kind of this campy kind of horror theme musical that uh that did very well in london and found an audience and they brought it over to america to the roxy theater um and at the time, I, uh, it was, uh, I believe it was Jim Sharman and, uh, and Lou Adler who had seen it and were involved in one production and whatnot. They decided to make a movie of it. Um, and that movie was kind of low budget. Um, it, I don't want to say it's a bad movie. It's a bad movie. <laughs> no, no, no. I think that's naive. I, I really do. Because if you actually watch this film and, and you watch what they're doing, they're very self-aware that they're making a quote-unquote bad yeah. film. The music's really good. It is. Oh, yeah. um, catchy. Yeah. It's very, very catchy. The music's good. The actors are good. You have uh, you have Charles Gray from the Bond film. You have Tim Curry. You'd go on to be you know, Tim Curry. You have Susan Sarandon and Barry, Barry Bostwick. Bostwick. Um, Meat Loaf. And Meatloaf. Meatloaf. Can't forget about and and the, and and and, um, and and Jonathan Adams. Those are bona fide actors. Those yeah. are those are those are actors with real um, with real careers either ahead of them or already behind them. And then you have other actors. I mean, uh, Richard O'Brien, uh, Patricia Quinn, and uh, Lil Nell uh, were um, were were kind of the underground cabaret um, sort of um, uh, uh, culture of London at the time. So, um, so the, the movie, I think, has good music, um, good acting, and has a really good director of photography and uh, Peter Shersitsky. Peter Shersitsky goes on to work with uh, uh, David Cronenberg. And that's uh, David Cronenberg's um, only, uh, that's basically the only DP he uses. <laughs> it's a DP. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Uh, um, yeah. Another question. Um, when it came to forming Hell on Heels um, and, like, asking people to be a part of it, um, where did they come from? Like, how did you go about, like, deciding that um, background? Oh, so we, we check... Um, so the uh, the cast was formed from um, myself, um, my girlfriend uh, Susan, and um, Calvin, uh, my best friend. We um, we basically went to people we knew and had worked with. Um, the very first incarnation of this cast was actually pretty much. Um, um, uh, the same actors I had used in a previous production uh, called uh, of uh, Repo the Genetic Opera. I um, I did have to go a little bit outside that pool when I found <laughs> Lance. Um, we love Lance. No pants, Lance. Lance's <laughs> are Brad. Um, <laughs> we have um, 
Evan we, looks so confused. Yeah, this is not. <laughs> yeah, no, I, so, um, yeah. Sorry, Evelyn. I'm, I'm kind of. Evelyn. <laughs> What's her name? Ellen. Evan. 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 <laughs> oh, you know, I'm, it's early. I just woke. <laughs> you know, you you make a pretty Evelyn. <laughs> just saying. Gets that all the, the time. Um, okay, uh, just to just to kind of bring this back yep. and finish up. So so I I don't think it's necessarily a bad film, but it certainly was not well received. It was uh, and it's mm-hmm. very panned and it has so many cheesy things and it's great to look at and make fun of. And that's basically what ended up happening in New York. It was played and um and a group of people wanted to keep getting it played and getting it played over because they were legitimate fans of the film. But then they got bored of it. And then they start talking over it like in mystery science theater <laughs> where you have the hour. That's exactly yes. what it's like. Um, <laughs> and then it turned into an entire audience of people making fun and shouting things at this quote unquote bad movie that um that it's developed this weird culture where that's evolved into people jumping up on stage in costume and and performing the movie in front of people who want to make fun of the movie because they love the movie so much. And it's like, uh, you know how uh, you have a friend that you tease all the time? It's kind of the same thing. Uh, We make fun of a movie because we love it a lot, not... um, and, and because we can poke fun at a lot of its flaws, because the movie oh, is yeah. so flawed, <laughs> and, and in such a fun way, and and um, I've been watching it lately. I think it's very, uh, I think it's very aware, and I think a lot of those flaws are like, now nah, we're gonna keep that. In. <laughs> um, so that's that's basically what Rocky Horror is, and that's how it started, and that's what we do. Thirty years later, we're still doing this crap. We're still jumping up in front of it yeah. and performing. <laughs> We have a structured cast, mm-hmm. and when it first started, it was it was just random people in costume because people would actually go in costume as their favorite character to see this thing on Saturday night. Right now they now now we have a cast to do that, and I wish more audience members would come in costume, but eh. um, but that's what's happening now, um, and and that's the kind of cast I run, and that's the kind of cast that Jason's involved in, and um, and that's the show. That's kind of the the atmosphere. Now the the play that you direct, Hell on Heels, is that all? Lo- the play is uh, uh, we do for Rocky or Picture Show. The, the, name cast, the cast name is the cat. Okay, yeah. yeah, and it's all locally here in Tampa that you perform yes. mostly. Yes, um, we perform every Friday, every Friday night at the Bellagio Cinema in Carrollwood. Uh, doors open at eleven thirty. The show starts at midnight. Uh, we welcome everybody with open arms, with a big smile, and we make you feel at home. Tons of fun. Yeah. I, I'm going to have to go now. You have to. Can you, oh, yeah. Can you get me in for free? Uh, I could pay for your ticket if you want me to. No, it's okay. <laughs> I don't want to be cheap. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it, how, how old are you? Old you said, enough. You, you said you're, you're about my age, yeah, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the thing. All right. Uh, here, here's the deal. Um, yeah, at this at this point in your life, you have to try it once. It's okay. kind of like other things that you have to try once. Right. Yeah. Um, we got like 15 at, year olds going. You gotta go. <laughs> at this point, you are you a film buff? Yeah, yeah I, I consider yeah. myself a film buff. So you, you're gonna see the you're gonna see like references to Rocky Horror creep up in like, in in certain films like. Uh, I don't know. Um, uh, well, I mean, perks of wallflower of being a wallflower just yeah. came up. That like, whole scene. Glee. Of it. They did a whole episode about it. I well, yeah, I remember, remember that one. The Rocky yeah. Horror Glee show. Oh God, Glee. Like, well, John let's. I, I try to forget that one. The um. <laughs> it's an Do you like the new one that they did? The remake. Yeah, the remake. <laughs> um. Yeah, we're just gonna skip that yeah. question. Yeah, we're we're just going to. Yeah, okay. Um, if 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 you gave me the option to watch that over, let's say, the last Airbender, I would watch the last Airbender on repeat. Yeah. <laughs> At least M. Night tried to do something. Yeah. He, he tried and he failed horribly. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather watch Halle Berry's Catwoman. Ooh, that's low. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, uh, uh, the, the remake has good actors. Yeah, uh, it, yeah. I think it had good intentions. I, I, I don't know if it had good intentions, but I think it's stale. I think it's lifeless. And I think it's a disservice to the people in it. 
I feel like uh, it wasn't necessary. Like they didn't have that's to do that. Exactly. It. I would have much yeah. preferred if they did. Um, you know how they just did the grease live right yeah. before that. They, like it was actually like you know like a stage show in front of a live audience on location. I would have much preferred that for Rocky <laughs> rather than them trying to redo the movie because a lot of yeah. people don't realize that the movie is based on a stage play. Or you can come see us yeah. live for you know. <laughs> they were just trying way too hard like just way too hard yeah i mean uh, the the actors the actors in the remake yeah. i enjoy them in like other projects and whatnot but it was bad <laughs> all right so we're here with jason abru and sam berg from uh the rocky Horror picture show play hell on heels and uh, we're gonna go to a quick music break here and we'll be back in a few minutes this is the yeet deed show i'm jesse i'm evan <laughs> i'm emily i'm nick all right all right, welcome back to the Yeet Deet Show. I'm Jesse. Evan. Evan doesn't have a mic. I'm um, Evan. You just scream loud. I'm Emily. I'm available. I mean, I'm Nick. Oh my joke. goodness. You Don't steal. Do I'm more original than to steal jokes. <laughs> Don't steal Emily's jokes. <laughs> Emily has I'm a joke. Just, so we got Jason Abreu here and Sam Burke from the Rocky Hour Picture Show play Woo. Hell on Heels. Yes. All right, so I got another question. Um, I may have answers. I hope you do. Uh, no. um, the older you get, the less you find you have answers. <laughs> <laughs> what was? How did you guys like get into Rocky? Like for the first time, what was your first impression of it, and when? Like you said, you were fourteen when you started doing it. Um, yeah. What hooked you in? Um, I was um, I, I was going to uh, I was going to an arts and acting school, and um, and, and I. I'd met a, um, a, a friend who, um, who, 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 who was very much into, um, uh, uh, it was, uh, he was much into, uh, these older movies and, um, and older, uh, um, musical, um, people or whatnot. Um, he was a big meatloaf fan and he got me into meatloaf. Um, and, so we decided on a lark we'd watch this movie because it had Meatloaf and it had Tim Curry, it had you know all these people. Um, and the first impression I didn't have I, I didn't think it was very funny because I didn't know a damn thing about film. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I said the D word. No, you're good. Uh, am I good? Am, uh, uh, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, We're still gonna have a show next week. It's all good. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I just I just got. Your funding just sliced in half. <laughs> Sorry, you're gonna get fined. Yeah. Um, the uh, so I, I I didn't know I didn't know it I didn't know a single thing about movies. I didn't know what like techniques were or whatnot. Mm -hmm. I just I, I I don't know. At 14 years old, I think you you watch these sort of things, or at 13 years old, you, you watch these sort of things, and you um. And, and and you say uh, and you just kind of accept them and you're like okay well this is what this is all right I'm, I'm fine with that um, <laughs> um, it wasn't until I actually saw a live show and, and when you and, and you have uh, it's a I different say, experience yeah I was like, there was like yeah. sixty people the first time I went um, sixty people shouting every flaw of the movie out yeah. in front of you you're like oh yeah that scene does kind of suck. <laughs> uh, that, that that's weird. The, um, the so that was kind of my first impression. Um, the first the first thing was I had gone. I was with my friends' parents. My friends were way more liberal than my parents, so I got to do a lot more in front of them. Like you know, swear, um, <laughs> talk about naughty things. Um, and, and because they didn't care, it was like they were all about open discussion. My parents were too, but I didn't know that. Anyway, uh, I never, n never crossed that bridge right. at that age. Um, so I went with my friend and his father, and we're just sitting there. Everybody is, you know, the 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 things they shout at the screen are not polite. <laughs> they are very, 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 very insulting. the The intent is to offend. I gave them an example earlier. <laughs> yeah. uh, the the intent is if you're not walking out, if you're no matter what your politics, religion, philosophy, you're not a little butt hurt about things, then maybe the cast didn't do its job. <laughs> it's like South Park, you know. Yeah. Um. So uh, and and some of the 
funniest things I've ever heard in my life are being shouted across this room. Like, this is amazing. I've got to do this all the time. And I got involved because I wanted to be an actor. Mm-hmm. And, um, and and I don't consider Rocky to be acting. Um, it's, you know, uh, I'm not, I, I don't have pretensions like that. But it is a great uh, way to be on stage in front of an audience and mm-hmm. developing those sort of, um, like, yeah, that's, uh, that stage confidence that, you, that an actor should have. And I did that throughout my entire high school. I think that helped me a lot, and I'm glad I did. Even though it must have been a heartache for a director to have a 14 year old in his cast. <laughs> I mean, to his credit, I turned 15 Aww. later, but uh, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I've talked enough. Same question for you, Jason. How did you get into it? Uh, I'm not going to lie. Growing up, I knew about the movie, but I never actually watched it. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what it was about. And then when I got told about live shows, you know, I had that whole like machismo style thought process like, oh, no, that's that's not for me. Yeah. You know, I'm going to feel uncomfortable there. I'm probably going to, you know, punch somebody or something like that. And it wasn't until about four years ago, a friend of mine told me about it. I was like, you know what? Screw it. Let's go. And they took me to a live show, and I had such a blast. Like, it was actually the first time I had met, uh, you know, one of our one of our leaders, Calvin. He was performing that night, mm-hmm. and I met a few of the others. And... I was just, I was laughing so hard the entire night that I was like, the show is awesome. And I ended up becoming a regular. I was there every week and I kept asking people, I was like, is there any way that I can be a part of this? Because it's it's just, the show's liberating in a way. Yeah. Because when you get there, it's like, you feel like you can be yourself. Like, I'm not saying, you know, if you go there, you're going to end up dressing like the characters, you know, like. You're just going to walk around in fishnets and heels <laughs> and all that. But it's just, it just, you feel free. Yeah. Like you can, you Accepted. can be yourself. Nobody's going to judge you. Nobody's going to, you know, tell you what you're doing is wrong or that it offends them. I mean, obviously, you know, we're trying to offend you at times, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's all in good fun. It's everybody is offended. So, I mean, yeah. at the same time, nobody is. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's <laughs> all. Yeah, it, that's the intent. It's all in good fun, and it's. I always try and get a lot of people to go out every week, mm-hmm. um, whether I'm performing or not. You know, I'm. If I'm performing, it's like, hey, you know, come to the show. You're gonna see me in gold tights, and you know, just basically, being me. Right. Or you know, if I'm not performing, it's like, hey, come to the show. You know, I'll help you out. I'll tell you what you sh- can yell at the film. You know. Yeah. What what you need to know so you're not lost or confused and whatnot and i've actually had a few people come and they're like you know what that was that was a lot of fun you know i'll be there next week or let me know when you're performing again and it's just it's a blast it really is yeah sounds Um, fun sounds like a lot of fun i got another question oh yeah for another question yeah we definitely got time um what for both of you what is the most challenging thing of doing it directing or acting oh it's the most challenging thing it's not people like you. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> I try not. I try to make it as easy as possible. <laughs> I tell you, um, the, the biggest challenge for me, directing, is um, um, it is I look at a show and I say, and we're only two years old, yeah, or one year old, or one year of performing weekly old, and um, and and I I look at the show and I see all these 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 things that like this needs improving this needs improving this you're nitpicky about improving. everything so <laughs> so improving so these and, and I'm, I'm saying that over <laughs> and over like, i need to get new props i need to get i need i need to fill these actors i need to do these things i need to train yeah. this person i need to train this person to do three things i need to put this person i need to talk to this person so i need to get um i need to, uh, i need to coordinate with other cast i'm always thinking like that that's, that's always going through my head every night whether or not, and then if I'm performing, I'm doing it while I'm performing. I'm staring yeah. at the actors like, are they doing the right blocking? Are they doing the right thing? Where's the spotlight? Why isn't it being? Hit? And that's um, and, and so I, the biggest challenge for me, is um, is focusing on the really important things, um, trying to be proactive and not reactive, and um, and also um, to um. To separate and say, okay, 
these are the things that need fixed, like any show, but these are the things that we're doing and um, uh, that are good. And and that's, um, I think that's any kind of, uh, um, if I think that's the burden of any uh, leader, honestly, is mm-hmm. that you're, you're always f- so focused on what you can do better that you never, uh, that it's hard to look at the forest or the trees and say, no, this is what we're doing and it's really successful. Um, don't get too down because, um, because you see, you know, one or a million things that need a little improvement. So that's, that would be my greatest challenge. Jason, what about you as an actor? Um, other than, you know, learning the words or the movements and whatnot, it would basically be just showing my body. Uh, yeah. Growing up, I was not very proud of, you know, my physique and whatnot. Yeah. You know, I was a I was a very chunky kid, and even growing up, I just it didn't change. And then uh, around high school, I kind of started working out a bit. And then when I got in uh, years passed, and then when I got into Rocky and I started performing, I was, I was very very, just. What's the term I'm looking for? Self conscious. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just I'm still like. Half dead. I get it. I, get it. <laughs> um, I was very self-conscious about my appearance and whatnot. And, you know, the entire cast, they kept telling me, you look great. You're fine and whatnot. And it was it was helping me. And then week after week, like everybody was telling me I did great. I looked good and all that. And, and I'm not saying that it boosts my ego up and whatnot. You know, I'm not walking around with my chest out and just like, <laughs> yeah. Beefcake <laughs> alert. Yeah. But like it, it just it made me more comfortable with how I look like I'm actually proud to be who I am. That's good. Yeah. But, uh, what Sam was saying, I may not be in a lead, a leader role, but Mm -hmm. I kind of, I kind of end up doing what he does when I'm not performing. Uh, I mean, even when I am performing, but I mainly do it when I'm not performing. I'll just, I'll look around. I see what needs to be worked on. What needs to be like, it's overwhelming. Yeah, it is. I, I enjoy it. Like, Every week, I, you know, I'm like everyone else. Hate their job, do this, blah, blah, blah. It's just, you know, the regular routine. And then once Friday hits, it's like, oh, yeah, I have Rocky tonight. Yeah. And that's the highlight of every week. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, Jason, you don't have to be self-conscious because, you know, built like a stud over here. <laughs> stud <you>. stud <laughs> yeah. yeah, We got you. Jason Abreu and Sam Burke in the studio with us. We're going to go do a quick music break and uh, we might have some more questions for him and uh, hope you guys enjoy the Yeet Deet Show. Me I'm too. Jesse. I'm Evan. I'm Emily. I'm single. I mean Nick. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't steal your joke this time. All right. Welcome back to the Yeet Deet Show. We got Jason Abreu and Sam Burke from the Rocky Horror Picture Show play Hell on Heels, and they play. Uh, they have a show every Friday and uh, local here in Tampa. So, Evan, I know you had a few questions to ask uh, these nice gentlemen. First off, Jesse, you keep confusing me. Is it is the show called Hell on Heels or is the, the cast, cast called the cast? The cast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if the show is Rocky Horror, everybody. If there's a hundred thousand casts in the world doing the same cast. show, that sounds that would be a really cool show. That sounds that would be really cool. Yeah. It sounds like We're Hell on cool Heels. Cast. Hell on Heels. Yeah. yeah, I think there's a burlesque company called <laughs> Hell on Heels. That, that's yeah, a cool show. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, AMC. There's a TV show called Hell on Heels too. It's Hell, Hell on, on Wheels. Wheels. Oh, oh yeah. I was to say Hell one on of the. Wheels. That's an old AC line. Yeah, no. Yeah. Hell on Wheels is uh, this is old uh, old phrase. But I don't know what it means. You never <laughs> saw all the Hell on Heels on AMC where all the cowboys dress up, you know, and Hell uh, on Wheels. On and AMC. <laughs> I know. They, did it they, too. <laughs> they dress up in uh, high heels and fishnets oh. and they're cowboys and stuff, you know. That sounds like uh, one of the Hamburger Mary restaurants or something. I've been there. It's very much like a Hamburger <laughs> Mary restaurant. They have really Anyways. good food, but anyway. So, uh, Come in here. what you call it? Uh, Emily, Emily tells me you're the gold guy. Okay, I play the character uh, Rocky Horror, basically uh, the movies movies version of uh, Frankenstein's monster. Okay. Yeah. And 
basically in the movie, Frank is trying to create the perfect man. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he creates to this, have a relation. Yeah, to have relations Jason's with the perfect man. Oh, okay. And yeah, <laughs> and Rocky is this buff, very pale blonde man. Oh, well, he didn't look too pale to me. Well, that's because I'm not pale. <laughs> so wait, they don't spray honest. paint. They don't spray paint you gold. No, no. No, no that's I, what I was saying. I'm in, he I'm wears in, tights. I wear. Gold Shorts, tights yeah. and gold oh, sneakers. Okay, so you still are the gold guy. Yeah, I'm I still thought the they spray painted you gold like the like the Google images. No. One of the, one of the great things I love about the show, and this is becoming more and more standard, just in like theater in any way. You'll see. Um, I think uh, like they did a production of Les Mis where uh, Fontaine was uh, was of one race and Cosette was another, and it's like, oh, we don't care about race anymore. One of the things that's like really neat about uh, Rocky. Uh, shadow casts uh, are that um, we try to uh, we, we we cast a lot and we don't discriminate for gender or whatnot. We have women and men role, male role. How big is the? Uh, sorry to cut you off. How big is the cast? He said about yeah, about thirty uh, something. Thirty people. Okay. And still growing. Yeah, uh, we uh, well, we 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 don't try to cast with preference to race. We like to change that up if possible, honestly. Just yeah. a movie of a bunch of white people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, other than Rocky, uh, I play the character uh, Eddie, who is Meatloaf. Uh, Meatloaf. Yeah, Meatloaf's Meatloaf's character. We love Eddie. And I've been I've been wanted to branch out to the other the other characters and you know try them out. And Sam gave me the opportunity to try Eddie one night. And my first night as Eddie, Emily actually came up with a line <laughs> for when, you know, Eddie breaks through the ice or out of the freezer. And I heard her at the top of the room, like after all the screams were over and all that, you know, it got quiet for like two seconds before I started singing. And all I hear is Emily shouting, whoa, black Eddie, bam, blam, black Eddie, black Eddie, bam, blam. <laughs> what? It became, he's black. <laughs> it became one of my favorite lines, so I ended up turning myself into a meme on the uh, cast page. I'm gonna on post Facebook. it on Instagram. I'm gonna take your meme it's, and put it's, it. <laughs> it's one of my favorite lines. Can you sing a line from uh, the movie? Wait, wait, wait! Y'all be singing too? No, they lip sync. No, 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 no. We lip sync. Uh, oh. Some some of the cast members can actually sing. I, on the other hand, Jake, cannot. Jake, for example, <laughs> I, can tell you right now. I can tell you right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna name drop Jake. He sings Hot Patootie. As like he's doing it and it's great. Yeah, no. yeah we all sing while doing it. I don't know that I should sing. Um, you sing and it's hilarious. The Frank and Furter. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I do. I do that. Um, uh, but, but here's the problem. All right, is <laughs> that if, if any one of us tries to say lines or something from the movie, we're going to say instead some of the horrible things that we shout. And that's not yeah. made you forget like the actual lines yeah, after like, a while, and like <laughs> I just mm, my, mm, yeah. Mm. You can smell. Oh man. So wait, what? How often do you guys get heckled? And then when you do get heckled, you got to stay in character. Every. Every night, <laughs> like <laughs> that's the whole point of the show. So if I uh, if I go, you suck. You that's that's stay, that's tame. Stay. That's, that's you nothing. Yell, if you yeah, if you yell out like you suck, like uh, we'll probably laugh. <laughs> we'll probably laugh or you suck. You'll uh, you'll hear one of us, whether it's somebody who's actually like performing or somebody who's off screen, just like. So if you yell you suck, you're gonna hear somebody. I don't do guys on Mondays. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Evan, you Perfect. love the show. Yeah, no, legitimate ha heckling doesn't really happen. I think Evan should be in the show. Um, we, um, <laughs> I'm not trying to wear no corset. You could be a transy. Yeah. Get him in some heels. We, um, <laughs> le legitimate heckling. Okay, here's the thing, right? Uh, it, uh, it's already really hard to hear in that theater because of people shouting the the funny stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, which is, I thought, like, how, how often do they do that? Like, that's like. But like legitimate heckling, that doesn't happen very much. I don't think the audience itself would tolerate it very much. There was um, there, there have been certain jokes that have been too soon, and I've seen audiences yeah. get like yeah. like like basically especially with celebrity deaths escort somebody out <laughs> of the theater. Oh wow! And so um, Rocky Horror audiences tend to be there for the community to 
like to 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 be supportive of each other of the cast uh if you're not looking i don't think rock your audiences are looking for um for a night out at the theater i think they're <laughs> looking for um a place that they can go and be with people who are like them um in my experience that's always been the case you go to see the show a bunch of times but then you start talking to the other people who keep coming and then you you make friends and whatnot. So you have a show this this Friday, right? We do. Yes, and yes, where's that going to be at exactly? At the Villaggio Cinema in Carrollwood. One one seven seven eight Northdale Maybury. Cool. There you go. I might try to come out get some get some people to come out to the yeah, show. Yeah, do it. You know, we'll be yeah, we'll um, be there. I forgot what I was gonna say. What were you gonna say? I don't. Remember. I got a, a question. Um, what what can we see you guys outside of Rocky? Like, where are you guys gonna be if people want to? see you <laughs> where do you guys uh, hang out yeah what's your hangout spot where do you live <laughs> <laughs> what's your social i live in a uh, <laughs> i live in a house what do you guys yeah like what events are you guys doing like upcoming oh i tend I to just three coins. <laughs> i tend to just you know shout out to home, three coins diner get in the fetal position in the corner and cry <laughs> oh just, no I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, we tend to, every now and then we tend to hang out at like three coins diner or mm -hmm. uh lowry parkade and you know we just we just get together you know chit chat we nerd out like if you ever see us outside of rocky and whatnot we will literally be having conversations about video games or star shout Wars. out to emerald city yeah. comics yeah. <laughs> you know um when when i started rocky um like you, you see these people are like, on stage looks so cool they come to the show or in like leather pants or like really cool hair or whatnot. And then you, you see them outside of the show. At the gas station? Their, yeah. They're, they're talking about their D&D &D game. Oh, they're talking no. about, the, you know, <laughs> that's me, okay. But that's, uh, that's, that's, uh, nobody has any pretensions on that stuff. That's, we're all a bunch of nerds. Yeah, we're for all real. A bunch of, they're the biggest you know, nerds. I never would have thought I'd be friends with people who play Dungeons and Dragons, and here I am. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I have a 16th level ranger. Uh, <laughs> he's really cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a game that's been going on for like 10 years, a Dungeons um, and Dragons so game? So me and my assistant director, <laughs> my master technician, and a few and three of our other friends <laughs> have a game that's been going on for three years. Oh my goodness. I'm the DM. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, yeah, Jason. I'm sorry to interrupt. No, no, I just no, thought that was no, a no, funny. No, no. <laughs> trust say. me, I. They needed to hear that. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> other than that, uh, if you ever want to see me, I, I tend Hellcats to go to like burlesque. the Brandon Mall every now and then. Uh, I actually go to the Crunch and Channel side. I work out a lot, and uh, yeah, I also do Hellcats burlesque. I yep. do burlesque shows. Oh wow! A bunch yeah. of our castmates do that. Yes. Uh, no. no, Sam doesn't. Nobody yeah. wants to see me take my clothes off. <laughs> oh, but That's why he's riffraff. But when you find them. But when you, <laughs> but when you do, you look like Kylo Ren. Oh, when I do. Oh. <laughs> That's because I wear a Ben Swallow. High... <laughs> I don't know. I just wear really high pants. <laughs> riffraff wears high pants. But uh, yeah, uh, we have a uh, sister, uh, a sister, sister cast, cast uh, the Hellcats Burlesque. And I perform with them uh, every, like once a month. Mm -hmm. We actually had a show last week, and it was the first time that I have been with them uh, in over a year due to uh, you know work and all that stuff. And it felt great to be back on stage and actually do that rather than Rocky. Right. Like, don't get me wrong, uh, Rocky is always fun, but to after do that, a while, nice to change it up week, a little bit. Yeah. yeah and Switch it up. Yeah. yeah and uh, it was it's a lot of fun because I get to do different things like. Uh, Two of my numbers were uh, a boxing number to Good Vibrations by Marky Mark and the Punch. Nice. And to end the show, I ended it with Cuban Pete from The Mask. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. The Mask oh, going back oh, there. Hard, uh, conga line. It, was, it was crazy. <laughs> it was something. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to go to a quick music break, and then we're going to wrap it up here. We got Jason Abreu and Sam Burke in the studio from the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and they have a show this Friday in Carrollwood. Yes. yes. Okay. What time? Yeah. 11.30 p.m. At Ooh. night, yeah. Late nights. <laughs> All right, this song's by Queen. It's called Don't Stop Me Now, and this is the Yeet Deet Show, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back to the Yeet Deet Show. And uh, we have Jason Abreu 
and Sam Burke in the studio here from Rocky Horror Picture Show. And uh, Sam, I you want to ask a question? Is that correct? No. 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 He no, doesn't no, want to now. I got one more question. Joking. What's up? I haven't got one. Here. Y'all be wearing makeup. Yeah, absolutely. Man, That's like all part of it. Part of acting. I'm out. Uh, you're oh, in the, oh, 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 like you're too good for makeup. You're in the television yeah. department. You're no. one to talk. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> you know, if, if Tom Hardy's not too good for makeup, I, I don't think anybody in this room is too good for makeup. <laughs> That's right. You got to wear makeup. You got to wear makeup. You got to have a, a And the you know what? They rock you. it. Well, as long as it looks good. I yeah. just know I'm not looking good. They look beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't have to you wear would, makeup. Yeah, you would. Uh, um, you you got to wear something... Because otherwise, the light washes you out, and nobody can see. Oh, yeah. um, I feel you. That makes you, sense. you. You gotta wear, you know, you, you gotta wear a base or something to distribute the light at the very least. Or if you're me, you've gotta wear a lot of shading because I gotta look gaunt like a zombie. You're a broadcasting a major. You gotta wear concealer. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, guys, um, hate to say this, but we are all out of time actually. Yeah. So I'm glad you guys came in to the studio got to know a little bit about the rocky horror picture show and your play Motivated and everything people to come yeah come check us out carol wood every yes. friday yes awesome so jason abru and sam burke thanks for coming Thank in you so much for having us. <laughs> this is the eat deed show i'm jesse i'm evan i'm emily i'm nick and have a good day and enjoy your weekend